Hello everyone and welcome back to the G-Rated Family Gaming Channel. I just wanted to talk real quickly to you guys how to optimize OBS just a little bit. So this is a little bit more advanced um, and if you guys need some of the basics for setting up OBS or OBS Studio then just let me know or just go check out that video that we've got on the same playlist that you're watching right now. Uh, so basically what you want to do is there's some things that you want to know a lot of people they start streaming and they end up with uh, Basically really laggy output. So one thing you really want to know about is your speed So go to Google and type speed test and then you can find this thing internet speed test And you can run the speed test it will contact the server. It'll find an area to ping uh, This is download. I'm on Wi-Fi now, but when I'm plugged in directly into my router then it goes a lot faster so I'm a little further from it um, but you know 25.9 isn't too bad what you really want to know about is upload speed so after it does the download speed it tests the upload speed if I am plugged in directly usually I'll get about 10 or 11 on my setup so yeah 9.9 .9, uh, megabytes per second is what I've got and if you've watched any of my live streams then you can see you know usually that's pretty good and you got some good quality I have heard of people streaming with uh, as low as one megabyte per second, but if you've got one or lower megabytes per second in yours, then what you're going to want to do is contact your internet service provider and see if you can get some higher download and upload speeds because it's going to lag really, really bad if you don't have a decent upload speed. So that is one thing that you definitely want to be concerned about if you don't have up to one megabyte per second. If you do have one megabyte per second, it's still going to be in a pretty low resolution. And if it's under that, then it's just going to keep on lagging. You might as well not even try to live stream. Uh, so make sure you have a decent upload speed. If you can get up to 10 or more, then you're in really good shape. Uh, so also here in OBS, the settings here, you go into file and then you go into settings. And then the settings here is where you're going to start to set things up. So uh, you've got all of your stream information. We've talked about in previous videos how to set this stuff up, how to get your key in there and how to do all that stuff. But the output here is something that you want to want to get going. So the output here, you've got like a simple, you can do an advanced menu where you can set up some more of this stuff. But you can basically set up bit rate. If you have a higher bit rate, then it's probably going to uh, lag a little bit more lower bit rates is going to be uh, lower quality but then it's not going to lag nearly as much here you can set up also the amount of cpu usage how fast you want it to, to go and uh one thing that really impacts this is the type of computer you have and the amount of ram that you have you want to have as much ram as you can to look at some of your settings in your PC, what you want to do is go into a folder, go to this PC, you can right click on it, and then you can go to properties. Then you can learn some properties of your system. Uh, this one, this is the laptop I have, it's 16 gigabytes of RAM. So you, you want to have at least, you know, more than 12 if you can. Uh, high amount of RAM is going to make a huge difference on the uh, on the speed of your computer. The the better if you have uh, i7 core or more cores to your processor, that helps a lot too. So you also want to, uh, it, other than just your upload speed, you also care about the usable RAM that you have in your system. Also in here in the video, uh, what we have here. So if the base resolution is is this, you can you can uh, pick the output scaled resolution. So if you have really low upload speeds, you might want to go down further. Uh, for HD, you want at least 1280 by 720. If your system can handle it, you can go even higher, but this is probably going to lag even more. So you can s set here basically the output frame rate, whether it scales up or scales down. And so uh, the highest would be the 1920 by 780. You have a base resolution, which is the resolution for the screen that you're using or the uh, monitor that it's hooked up to. Uh, you've got the filter, so it's the number of samples. If you have uh, fewer, if you have, basically I have in the middle. If you have more samples, it will be really, really sharp, but you also, again, have to have a really good upload speed and a really good RAM. So, it, so if this is if you're getting lag, you can probably turn it down a little bit. I put that in the middle. You can also do some how many uh, frames per second. So most of these things, you know, if you have 30 frames per second, that's 30 frames that are processed. If you see a lot of lagging, you might want to move that down to like 20. So it's going to be a little bit lower quality, but you're going to have less lagging. 
If you want to go up to 60 frames per second, make sure, first of all, that the camera that you are using supports 60 frames per second. Uh, and also, you're going to have to have really good RAM and really good upload speed in order to stream in 60 frames per second. So that's going to take a little bit of effort. So basically what you want to do is go, go in there and check your video output settings and your output settings here in order to set up your, uh, your system. So if you are having a lot of lag on your side, first thing I would check, again, go check Check your upload speed if it's really really low that's your problem if your upload speed is decent if you've got you know 5 10 15 20 or more the higher the number the better and the higher the number you have the more you can set up and customize these output settings so you come into file go to settings and mess around with the stream with the output and with the video so I hope that helps with you guys if you're having any issues and you're getting lag then come in and check out these settings and see what you can do to try to improve the output uh, so that there is less lagging for the people that are viewing. Because if you've got lag, then they're probably going to stop viewing your live stream. If you don't have lag, they're more likely to stick around. So if you guys have any other questions, then feel free to let me know in the comments and I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching everybody and bye.